Not to divide by religion, but to unite by nationality is what BJP's next move is all about. Confused? Well, do take a look. BJP has yet again opened up the debate of the Uniform Civil Code and it is all set to implement this law as well. The government is set to announce the name of the people in the committee making these laws. A Uniform Civil Code means common laws related to property, marriage, divorce, maintenance, adoption and inheritance irrespective of religion. By bringing in the Uniform Civil Code, BJP will be fulfilling one of its manifesto promises. The party believes that there cannot be gender equality till such time India adopts a uniform civil code which protects the rights of all women and BJP reiterates its stand to draft a uniform civil code drawing upon the best traditions and harmonizing them with the modern times. After becoming the Prime Minister, Narendra Modi talked about this change in an interview stating that UCC did not mean that citizens will be brought under the Hindu code. What you're forgetting is that the Honourable Prime Minister on the May of, 6th of May in an interview said that there's no question of thrusting Hindu code laws on any other community. It is a question of, and then he himself said that even the Hindu code suffers from a lot of archaic, infirm laws which actually belong to the 18th century while we are living in 21st century. So it's very important for communities to look within themselves and improve the lot of their own, own by coming up with, with suggestions and, and, and we must look at the reforms as a continuous process because unless there's equality, gender equality, uh, uh, as Mahatma Gandhi said, that uh, there has to be equality of all kinds for India to be truly independent. Congress that has always been inclined towards a minority believes that the government's interference in religious matters would be wrong and condemn the move. It's a debatable subject, but according to my opinion, they are trying to confuse the people. They are trying to divert the attention of the people by raising such type of uh, question and issues. AP, who also had the support of minorities in both the Delhi Assembly elections and the Lok Sabha election, criticized the government's move. Any attempt which breaks the Hindu-Muslim unity is a dangerous attempt and they should, be, they should not be tolerated. The government is careful with each step it's taking in order to make India a secular country in a true sense. But will the UCC create more confusion? Only time will tell. A News 9 report.